Hey everyone, welcome back to Podcast for Your Life. The podcast where we share thoughts from our life for yours. I'm Jason. I'm Jam. And today we've got a suggested topic from Carter in Oklahoma. Hey Carter. Uh, he wanted us to talk a little bit about fast food. He had a kind of more specific question, but in general, fast food. Fast food. So, what is it? This is going to be a fast episode. <laughs> Um, Wait, I guess Domino's wouldn't be fast food, would they? It's a great... Is pizza a fast food? So We're just going to have to start there. A start, yeah. What is fast food? Um, what defines like what's fast and what's not? Was ramen? Would ramen be considered fast food? Well, so... Three minutes. If you're just talking about the, the words you're using, the adjective fast, the right. noun food, yes. However, wow. I think fast food is a genre of food now. An at industry? An industry, yes. But I think we, even if we haven't sort of clearly defined these things, people in general have a sense of what is and is not in the category of fast food. So, you know, like Google Maps, if you're searching for fast food places in your area, it'll give you like three quick, um, you know, categories for a food. So if you like find a McDonald's on Google Maps, it'll say like quick bite, fast food, casual. It'll give you like these three different things. Do you think that the people who are like deciding those categories have to go in and be like, okay, let's order something and we'll time it. We'll see how long it is. And there's like, if you don't make certain window, then you're not considered fast food on Google Maps. Do you think that's how it works? No, I think some things that determine it are more like, does it have a drive through is a big part of it. I also think like the setup of a fast food place is that you order and you pay at the same time and then you get it. Not, it doesn't mean like if you have it that set up that you're definitely fast food, but I mean, there's no waiter involved. Like there's certain things that interesting. I'm sure back in the day, whenever fast food was like on the rise and it was, um, a new thing, some of that stuff was like different from what you're used to. Um, like the idea of the, you don't have a waiter, just come up here and order, we'll hand it to you and you go back and sit down. It's okay. kind of like, Oh, yeah. that's different. So it's kind of like the original, like McDonald's or whatever that was, it was quick, but it also was. Like, it took away the whole sit down and we'll have a waiter come and give you your food and stuff. Yeah. Okay. And before that the drive sense. through and before, well, that the drive in was yeah, huge. Drive in, yeah. Like, drive in was kind of like the first big step in that direction. So, I does think. that mean that, because I know the drive ins were definitely popular, does that mean that drive ins aren't considered fast food? So, like a Sonic or. I think it's considered fast food. I think it was the first iteration of fast uh, food. Oh, okay. That's, that's my, I mean, that's not historical, but I think that. Is kind of like, because they got big fast, and I think that was a big reason why, you know? Gotcha. That's cool. But to answer the question about what is and isn't, I think most people um, think of fast food as it has to do has something to do with burgers, fries, that kind of fried food uh, okay. type of thing. I think the drive through idea is a good idea, though. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people think, like, fast food involves, I don't have to get out of my car yeah. to get something from this place. Right. But even if you walk into a fast food restaurant if it's very clearly fast food like it's a burger joint or whatever um i think it's still you know fast food even if you didn't even if you got out of your car you know there's one place around here called rosa's which i love and they're not like your typical i mean they're not taco bell they're way better in oh, my yeah. opinion oh yeah but what's cool is they have a drive through but they have the atmosphere inside the restaurant as a place that you sit down. Mm -hmm. But my wife and I went there recently, and the drive through was wrapped around the building. And I think it was just because it's like it's a little bit slower than like your typical drive through fast food place. But we went inside, we ordered our thing, and like three minutes later, it was ready. And I was yeah. like, wow, that was actually really fast. But the food isn't like your typical greasy burger joint. It was like really quality mm -hmm. Tex-Mex stuff. So that's like, okay. This place has the feeling of, like, not a fast food place, but they have, like, the speed of a fast food place. Yeah, Rose's is a great example of probably the best of the best in terms of kind of mixing quality with speed. Yeah. Um, little tidbit of a little fact here. Um, M and I, our first date was at Rose's. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, Rose's is great. Cash, you know. <laughs> Ours was at uh, Panera Bread. Oh, nice. Which is Panera Bread fast food? And they do. What about Jimmy John's? Would Jimmy John's be considered fast? I actually think they fall in the unique category of freaky fast. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I to, we need to clarify those things. Um, so, okay, do do we have the boundaries of fast food sort of established, you think? 
I think so. Okay. But I, I'm still curious about Panera. Would Panera be considered fast food? It has a drive-thru, doesn't it? Some of them do. It's a good question. It's a deli kind of thing. Yeah, but there's a lot of places around here that are casual. Like, I think casual is different. Like, I, I think agree. casual is a different... Like, Muya, for example. Most Muya's, they'll get at you kind of quick. Or Five Guys, they'll get at you kind of quick. Most of them don't have drive throughs But I just wouldn't consider them, like, fast food, you know? Right. Uh, yeah, the drive is not so exactly... It's hard, because, like, obviously I know, like, the drive through doesn't ultimately determine, but it is a factor when mm -hmm. thinking about, like, what really is fast food. I, I still think fried is is a big part of it. Um, fried. So if it has fried fries, yeah. and if it has any fried thing? Fried things. I think that's, like, <laughs> makes it the bulk of the category. And so it's maybe the line's blurry. Maybe it's not, like, a clearly you've crossed over and you're outside of the fast food category. And or you step back in and you're in. I don't think it's that definite, but so, I do think a lot of people would not, in their normal vernacular, consider Panera fast food. So how about a sushi place that has fried shrimp tempura rolls? Would that be considered fast food? No, especially but it's fried. You, well, you'd categorize it as like a sushi place, or you'd put it in like the Asian category or whatever. Dude, there could be fast sushi places. I'm, you're not. You're Can not you wrong. imagine a drive-through sushi place? That actually would be pretty cool. That would be. Is it hard to eat sushi, like, if you're driving, though? No. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm just envisioning it still, though. Like, It'd be a little messy. Oh, dang. All right. Well, we have a little treat today. Uh, we just wanted to kind of toss around some of our favorite fast food categories. Now that we've set the boundaries for, like, what is fast food, we're going to toss out some of our favorites. Obviously, like we've said many times on this show before, we don't believe that we are the... Uh, the ultimate judges uh, for this, uh, for these types of things where we're not saying these are the best places because, again, we have no experience with being able to say that. But we do want to throw out some of our favorites. Yeah. I have a couple fast food places that I really like. But what's weird is that I, like, some of them are in the very classic category and they might be that the kind that people hate. Um for instance, Emily and I both really like McDonald's. Okay. But. Classic. Classic. And a lot of people, you know, don't like it. And it's definitely not the thing you need to eat every day at all. But that's actually any fast food, I would say. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. really matter which one. Um, but M, uh, her family, like, operated McDonald's uh, restaurants. She was growing up. At one point, they had, they were operating three at once. And, uh, and so she grew up in, like, a. You know, McDonald's is awesome, great environment. It's what our family does. It's like sort of family business. And um, so she's always had a love since it, she was a child for McDonald's because it has like that nostalgia for her. Okay. More, more than everybody else. Like everybody has a little bit of that, right? Not sure. everybody, but a lot for of people. For some place, yeah. But for her, it's like, oh, our family owned and operated McDonald's That's cool. stores. And so she like, as a kid, would like be in the back and like pretending to help, but probably not really... Um, do much she was really young but her sisters like worked at the stores um it's cool so anyway for her she loves it and um knowing that it's not the healthiest thing or whatever their quality is not like the cream of the crop she loves it and i i like it too so she like worked there she's seen behind the scenes the well she the was stuff like that i mean <laughs> quote unquote work she was like right, five right. like hanging out with the family you know what i mean it wasn't like she got to see the the deadly secrets of McDonald's and still voluntarily adjust their food. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so would that be like your favorite overall, like your traditional fast pla fast food place? No, it's not my favorite overall. It's just it it's not I like overall it. in the sense of like out of all the fast food places, right. but like if your tr your tr your well rounded fast food place, which would be they've got a drive through, they've got greasy burgers and fries. It's not my favorite. It's just to me the most classic and. I don't hate it. Like, some people, like, well, I, like, I'll never go there or whatever. Right, right. And I just don't feel that way. Their hash browns are the best, man. I don't care what anybody says. I hear that. My, my favorite well-rounded place uh, would be Wendy's. Nice. That's what we had growing up. We didn't do McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, we had Wendy's. Wendy's, can't say much about it, except that it's well-rounded when it comes to fast food. Yeah. Well, the fact that you were... So progressive as a kid of liking Wendy's about the others. Like, you're a feminist before feminism was really even Thanks. here, you know? Yep. A close second, though. <laughs> and the reason why I say Wendy's is my, like, favorite well-rounded fast food place is because 
my like overall favorite fast food place is Chick Fil A. Yeah, but I don't feel like they're well rounded. You know, like Wendy's has got the beef and the chicken and you know other bazillion other things, chili. <laughs> But Chick-fil-A is, like, mainly chicken. They've got salads and wraps and stuff. So I love Chick-fil-A. They're, like, my number one overall for, you know, fast food. But I wouldn't say they're well-rounded, you know? I agree with that. I What's tough, though, is that someone like Chick-fil-A, they are good at a few things, and they make it super clear. Like, it's, it's yeah. like, I think it's a, a huge strength. I don't think you Simplicity. need... I don't think you need to be well-rounded. I think you need to be like, hey, we're stinking good at chicken, so that's why everything we sell is chicken. Deal with it. <laughs> They it, do have some pork, I think. I don't think so. I think so. they have a pork sausage burrito for breakfast. Oh, interesting. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? It's like, it keeps it yeah. simple. It's like, it's, and they've they've been very careful about what new items of right. stuff they've introduced to their yeah. um, menu. One of the things they specialize yep. in also is having tons of different sauces. So, I think yep. Chick-fil-A is way up there. It's one of my faves, for sure. High quality. But, I have to say, one of, one, one of the ones that has, like, a piece of my heart that uh-huh. will, will never change is Whataburger. Whataburger. Have you been... I was going to ask, are you going to yeah. go on the record for your favorite burger? And around here, the biggest debate is In-N-Out versus Whataburger. Yeah. Whataburger. So you're going to go on the record saying Whataburger. Yeah, versus those two. But it's just like... But the nostalgia of it, it's like kind of been... It's like sort of my McDonald's growing up. Sure. It's like we had Whataburger Wednesdays were like... Um, wow. Uh, like the youth group every Wednesday after youth group and stuff, we'd go to Whataburger. And it's like... It's, you know, from Texas. It was started in um, Corpus Christi, I think. And yep. so it's just like... It's a Whataburger. Great. And I love it. And um, it's a Texas uh, legend or tradition. Yeah, it's a tradition. So it's, yeah, nothing beats it. M doesn't quite love it like I do. But I think Whataburger's pretty well-rounded. They've got um, yeah. some... Their burgers are really solid. Um, I would say, in my opinion, better than McDonald's. Like the fries, they've got every all the classics going on. They've got shakes and stuff like that. So yeah. to me, they're like they have everything going on. Nothing's horrible, and they're from Texas, and they cool. have a distinct style. So I like it. All right, I'm gonna abstain from the In and Out Whataburger debate because I don't really care. Yeah, well, and you're <laughs> I know not... some people who are really passionate about it, and um, I'm just yeah, I'm just I think they're both good. So. All right, so to wrap up, we're going to have kind of like rapid fire categories Okay. that I'm going to shoot. Rapid fire, that's a good yeah, idea. rapid fire. All right, it's going to be fast food, fast, <laughs> fast food, fast, fast food categories. All right, here we go. Tex-Mex. Uh, roses. I would say Chipotle. Oh, shoot. How can you forget about Chipotle? All yeah, right. Chipotle, sorry. Smoothies. <laughs> no comment. I don't have an opinion. <laughs> okay, there's a place in, in uh, that's Ooh. far from here that has really good smoothies, but... Um, I just was throwing out a random one. Coffee. Uh, Chick-fil-A's coffee is the best <laughs> of all of the fast food coffee. Okay. I don't drink coffee, so I abstain. Okay. Let's go with the best shake. Ooh. The Frosty at Wendy's. Oh, it's a great wow. shake. That's actually a really good one. It's a really good shake. Yeah, I, I would say a tie between Wendy's and In-N-Out. I've never had an In-N-Out shake. In-N-Out shakes, I think, are better than steak and shakes. I don't see a lot. Interesting. Wow. wow. Yep. What about best fries? So, I think we already ruled out Muya, but they're my favorite fries. Really? Yeah, hands okay. down. It's, like, not even a conversation. Okay. okay, throw them out, because if we rule them out, like, what's... No, 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 I'm, yeah, I'm just saying, okay. like, they're my favorite fries, but they're not fast food. Favorite fries from a fast food place would be Chick-fil-A. Nice. Yep. Yep. Can, uh, we, can we also talk about least favorite fries? Yeah, least favorite fries, go. All right, least favorite fries would be In-N-Out. <laughs> Interesting. I like them. I, I like In-N-Out, I like Chick-fil-A. I'm, I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to fries, but I will say this. Some of my least favorite are Wendy's fries. Mm, I, yeah, I just, too salty, I think. They're too salty, and they're not great, and they use, like, they never sea salt. Them. You know, they're like, sea salt fries, natural cut, or whatever, and I'm kind of like, yeah, but it doesn't matter if it, they taste less good. So. Yep. Best salad. Chick-fil-A's got some pretty killer salads. <laughs> they do. Yeah. Wendy's aren't bad either. I've never had a McDonald's salad, so. Dude, the Wendy's chili salad, <laughs> so. <laughs> you have a, a chili salad? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> okay, okay, I think we're out of time. <laughs> yeah, that was quick, man. Wow. Um, well, just like you know it, it's in the door, out out the door, and we are done with another episode. Thanks for listening about fast food for your life, guys. Carter, thanks again for your suggestion. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions of topics we should talk about, let us know. Send us an email or a message, uh, podcast for your life at gmail.com, or uh, like us on Facebook and send us a message. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys.